Good morning everyone, welcome back to another video on my way into work and um, we're back on the extension build so I'm on my way in and uh, I travel down the A40 if you know the A40 no, I can see police already and I've heard on the news that there is an insulate written protest there's a police motorbike so I don't know once I get further down there towards Acton which is apparently where they are whether I'm going to have any issues getting into work if you don't know about Insulate Britain is um, they're basically a group of um, climate climate change protesters who block major roads and they glue their hands and feet to the roads and cause loads of traffic jams and on main roads around Britain they've been doing this for the last couple of weeks at least anyway uh, so yeah just thought uh, I'll see if, if anything's happening I get some footage but I'm on my way in hopefully I'll get in Mr. A should be there now waiting for me so let's see what happens okay so this is just about half mile from um, where I left you and it looks like uh, yeah I think they have blocked my route into work on the A40 um, because all I can see is red lights and normally I'd breeze right through here in the morning so it looks like um, we might have an issue here and from what I've heard whenever they have had these protests on the radio it could be hours to get through um, a section because these guys literally uh, glue themselves to the highway so nobody can drive through the police have to try and get them off um, and obviously if they're in the middle of the, the road then you know nobody can nobody can drive through it's, um, basically a roadblock so uh, yeah I think I better call Mr A and give him the heads up I'm literally like a mile away from work um, so they're probably right at the junction that I turn off so unfortunate start to the day eh? but let's see what happens I'll give you an update in a bit so yeah looks like it's quite gridlocked here we have, we're not really moving at all yeah fully fully locked up so I spoke to Mr. A he's on, he's on, the, he's on the other side of the road waiting for me um, but yeah I don't know how long this is going to take hopefully it's not going to take too long it's now 20 past 9 it's now 20 past 9 so uh, yeah I wish I had a motorbike right now now 20 past 9 let's see what time we can get on site from here so updates pending all right guys this has been another 20 minutes and don't ask what I did but I managed to get off that uh, a40 and take a sharp left and I've gone down towards Uxbridge Road that's near or near uh, Queens Park Rangers around that area I've gone through there uh, I was lucky to be able to just make a left turn and cut across a couple of um, lanes and get a left turn off there otherwise I'd have been well stuck so I have seen the sat nav said it will take me 20 minutes to get there if I go all this back routes and all this stuff so hopefully the uh, back routes are alright but it seems alright so far so let's see what happens see you in a bit it's blocked, backed up. You have around 10 activists on the road. Four of them managed to glue down their hands. The protest removal team now trying to de-bond them. Uh, but of course, this is now what the 15th day of protests of disruption for Insulate Britain uh, to be causing to drivers in and around the southeast of England. No sign of it letting up. I have separately, Nick, just been told that their first court date for nine activists who are being held, to, who are being accused of contempt of court of breaching all of those injunctions won't be until November the 16th. So they have another several weeks to go of this before any of them even see a day in court. All right, guys, so it looks like I've made it out of the traffic. Finally, that was an absolute mission. It's 10 o'clock now. And I managed to get off that main road, go through all the back roads, and I've managed to make it, so. 
Just gonna go pick up our uh, uh, materials now. Mr. A should be somewhere around here, waiting for me, somewhere outside here. Oh, there he is, I can see him. And uh, yeah, guys, so I'll catch up with you in a bit. I'll see you soon. Right, guys, so we are on site, and the first job for us is to complete the plasterboard of this petition. I've put the insulation in already, and uh, now we're just putting the last of the plasterboard up for this area so that we can get it prepared for skimming. So I'll also just show you guys the self-leveling that we did yesterday. It's nice and solid, dried. Dries quite quickly, the self-level is, is a rapid um, set and uh, it's quite warm in here because we've got the heating on as well. So that's all good to go. Hi guys, so this is the end of the day for us. Um, didn't really get to film a lot. It was just an awkward day and obviously we lost a lot of time. So I uh, just had to really catch up. So it wasn't enough time to really move angles and move cameras about and stuff like that. So, but I'll show you what we've done anyway. I'll try and run through what we've done so far and where we're at now. So we are complete on this side. We've uh, patched up everything. We've patched up this area here, a bit of plasterboard. This is just hanging upside down at the moment. Uh, this radiator until I'm ready to skim behind there, which will be tomorrow and paint it and then I'll connect that up properly. Um, the plaster boarding is complete on this wall. As you can see all the way down here, all the way down. We've patched this little bit up here as well, plaster board, uh, all the way up there. So all we got to do tomorrow, first thing, put a bit of coving up the top, which we'll pick up tomorrow. We also fitted door frame on this side and the skirting boards all the way down here, uh, down to there. I'm just giving the place a little quick sweep. I'm gonna give it a proper clean probably tomorrow as well. So this side of the room is done. I will get, as I said, get the uh, coving in tomorrow, first thing, and I'm gonna skim this whole wall. And then this will be, this room will be ready for paint. Um, and then we'll skim this side, which we haven't done yet. So that's, Tomorrow's job is basically plastering.
get this little awkward corner done um, and in here is drying out rather nicely as we can see it's drying up nicely um, also we, we got this to work in as well the it's a remote control so there's no switches or anything I'll just show you guys that working now so it's got a remote control that comes with it you can see here and uh, basically all you do is point it wherever <laughs> as you can see it's opening up and you can stop it by pressing stop at any point you want or you can continue to you opening up it's kind of got like a chain kind of thing so that's as, as much as it opens and uh, it has a rain sensor so if you forget it open and it rains uh, once water hits that sensor up there it will automatically close as well so that's a good safety feature and then obviously just to close it you basically just press down once and it will close so this is the first time we've tested it and hopefully it works and that's it and it's self-locking so it locks itself you don't have to worry about somebody breaking it from the top it's locked with the chain so that is basically it for today guys as i said tomorrow is just plastering day and uh yeah so by the end of day tomorrow this room will be completely ready for paint the other side will be completely ready for paint as well and literally next week we will be painting mr a will be down here painting and i will be starting another project so i'll be down on another project which is an interesting one i'll be starting it um doing a few little bits on it next week and mr a will be here and he'll pretty much complete this interior of this um he'll pretty much complete the interior here do all the painting and stuff we've got some outside work still to do which is to do the soak away and the patio at the back so we'll be doing that as well um in the next week or so so yeah that's it for today so guys we're going to shoot off thanks for watching hope you guys enjoyed this one let us know what you think and um, we'll see you guys tomorrow take care